could we soon be flying around without a pilot at the controls in the cockpit? That is the technology that is actually being tested and developed right here in the valley. Honeywell, in conjunction with their partners, have just completed their very, very first test flight of a fully autonomous helicopter, and they let me take a look. There may be a test pilot sitting at the controls, but this helicopter is flying autonomously. It started from a 50 foot hover. It took off, it transitioned forward, it accelerated to 50 knots. It slowed down, it came back to a hover without our intervention. We just kind of sat there and, and watched it do, it do the business, right? Billy is one of Honeywell's test pilots who flew on board the very first autonomous flight of this Leonardo AW139 helicopter in late May. That's what we do in flight tests. We expand the envelope. Now we're doing it in an autonomous way. We're expanding the envelope by allowing the aircraft to fly itself. Honeywell is working in conjunction with one of their many partners called Near Earth Autonomy to help develop the technology. The goal is to take an existing airframe that they are already familiar with, that's already in the fleet, and show that that particular airframe can now also be used for different use cases. In this case, to make the existing military helicopters fully autonomous. Honeywell says this particular technology would support the U.S. Marine Corps' aerial logistics connector program. I see a day where we do have more autonomously flown aircraft and there's a lot of benefits, particularly to the military on this program that we're working on. When you can send an aircraft like this filled with cargo, resupplying ammunition and so on, when you can send that into the hot zone where the troops are and not risking the crew on board, it's going to make it much safer uh, and more efficient for the military. And if you lose an asset, well, you've lost an aircraft, but you haven't lost a me and you, right? Well, right now, while everything is still undergoing the testing phase, the pilots are still setting up in the flight deck, but this is where the engineers sit, and this is all of the technology that they use to make this helicopter autonomous. But one day, all this technology will be out of here, and this helicopter will be able to fly autonomously anywhere in the world, operated remotely. We've been uh, experiencing Waymo now for several years, and if you're in Phoenix, you know, a day doesn't go by where you don't see one. And I think that is also slowly coming into aviation as well. The technology is rapidly advancing, and we're not too far away from seeing these birds flying on their own. For me, it's very exciting. Ty Brennan, Fox 10 News. Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah, absolutely. Fan it's, it's just fascinating. We're living in the Jetsons era we almost, are, yeah. you know, where things are taking off and mm -hmm. flying on their own. It's like the Waymo of the skies. Yeah, and super smart guys. Yeah. Well done. For sure.